Hey guys, it's Bob and today we're doing a video that a lot of you have actually requested and I was really excited to work on as well. This is the Earthworks DM20 versus the Shure Beta 98 on drums. Now you might have seen my previous video which was the Earthworks DM20 versus the Shure SM57 which I'll link up here but this one is more of a fair comparison because both the Beta 98 and the Earthworks DM20 are purpose built for the specific job of making drums and percussion. They share a similar design, similar price point, and it's just much more of a fair comparison. So let's get into it today. Full disclosure for this video, I bought the Earthworks DM20s by myself with my hard earned cash. And uh, I wanna say thank you to Sure, who did send over the Beta 98 microphones for today's video. So let's start with the specs of these mics. They're both very similar. Um, the frequency range is 20 Hz all the way up to 20 kHz. They both have a cardioid polar pattern. They're both small diaphragm condenser and they require phantom power to operate. The Beta 98 is actually about half the weight of the DM20. The DM20 is 250 grams and the Beta 98 is about 130 grams. And that's because the Beta 98 is about half the size of the DM20. I was actually expecting these to be a similar size, so quite a difference off the bat right there. And for the price, the Beta 98 is coming in at 279 US dollars, which here in the UK is 269 pounds. And the DM20 is the same price in both pounds and dollars, it's 349. And I do believe this was 419 for a while when I bought mine, I'm pretty sure it was 419 for a mic. But um, that makes these mics much more competitively priced, and the Earthworks is just a tad more than the Beta 98, but they're both in a similar ballpark. Moving on to the design of these microphones, you can see that they both share a similar design. So we have the mic preamp at the bottom, we have this flexible gooseneck, and then we have the small diaphragm in this capsule at the top. So both of these microphones have their own system to clip onto the rim of the drums, which means you don't need any dedicated mic stands to mic up these drums, which makes it great for us drummers. So the Earthworks rim mount is called the RM1, and this, as you'd expect, lets you clip onto the rim of the drum. Now, there are three different ways you can set this up. You can have this where the microphone's almost parallel with the drum, and then the second one's at a bit more of an angle, and the third one's at a bit more of an angle again. You can, of course, move the microphone up and down in the little holder, and we've got the flexible gooseneck as well. And the sure rim mount is the A75M. Now, this one clips onto the rim, there's two different sections to clip onto the rims depending on the drums that you have. And then we also, on the same clamp, are able to clip onto uh, mic stands or cymbal stands or any sort of round stand. We can also adjust the height of the part that's holding the microphone and we can also adjust the angle of this part as well. So I think we can get just a little bit more flexibility out of this one because it clips onto rims and also any sort of hardware stands or microphone stands. So in today's comparison, what we're gonna do is we've got a DM20 and a Beta 98 on the snare, rack tom, and floor tom. I've also got a Beta 92 on the kick drum, which I'll use in some of the mixes and I'll make it clear when that is mic'd up, you'll hear it as well. But I'm gonna be playing a variety of different grooves and I'm gonna introduce the hi-hat, so I want you to listen out for hi-hat bleed at that point. And also when the bass drum's not mic'd up, we wanna be listening for bass drum bleed as well. I'm also gonna solo each drum do a little dynamic section. Gonna do some single hits as well. And I'm gonna bounce back, back and forth from one hit from one mic, one hit from another mic, just so that your ear doesn't forget which one's which. So that should be our clearest comparison of today. Uh, we'll start with that, and then we'll move on to some grooves. Both these microphones are gonna be running through my Focusrite Claret interface. The air feature is gonna be turned off, so just straight into the interface. And I'm gonna try and match the input gain so that we're sitting about the same level. The only processing that's going to be done is a slight bit of panning uh, for the rack tom and the floor tom. The snare will be right down the center. And that's just so that you guys can hear it a little bit more, feel like you're behind a drum kit. But there'll be no compression, no EQ, nothing like that. And we're going to be using 24-bit WAV files uh, recorded at a sample rate of 48 kHz. 
that's enough of an introduction from me. Uh, I'm gonna jump behind the kit and we're gonna test this out and see what we get.
there we have it. There's our comparison for today. Before I say anything, I would like to hear your thoughts and opinions. So drop a comment down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and you'll see more videos like this as they come out. So what do I think about these microphones? Well, first off, I think they're both very good microphones. If you've got either of these, that's fantastic. You can't go wrong with that. But now getting into the specifics, I do think that the Beta 98 mics have more of a fuller rounded sound to them, especially on the low end. Like if we listen to that floor tom, it especially sort of rumbles on a little bit more. So if that's the sound you're after, that sort of almost a pre-EQ'd sort of sound there, then that's gonna be great for you. I think the Earthworks have maybe a little bit more clarity to them. And I know that that's sort of Earthworks mission is to capture sound as accurately as possible. So again, you're gonna to have to tune your drums well because these mics are gonna capture everything that sounds bad or good. So with anything in recording, tune the drums to sound good first, right? You want good drums, good heads, then good mics. And I suppose you want a good drummer as well. And with that clarity, I think we pick up a little bit more of the cymbals. So on the snare mic, I hear more of the hi-hat. On the floor tom, I hear a bit more of the ride in the DM20s as compared to the Beta 98s. That's pretty much it for today's video. I'd like to hear your thoughts. What did you hear in the difference between these mics? Let me know in the comments down below. And again, I wanted to create this video because it did not exist on YouTube. The reason that this channel is here and why I'm creating the stuff that I'm creating is because it's the stuff that I want to watch, but there's just, it's not there. So <laughs> again, subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more things like this. Having more subscribers also helps me reach out and be able to get hold of microphones and things like that to create these videos. So I really appreciate you guys for watching this and for being a part of the channel. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.